Hi, I'm Jim Linnell. I'd like to take a few moments to introduce you to a, a very important person to the leathercraft industry, a fellow by the name of Lou Roth. He had many very important contributions to the leathercraft industry, some things that you may not be aware of, and I have some things to show you. One of the things that Lou Roth created and gave to the leathercraft industry was alphabet sets. I think uh, most everyone at some point probably has used these. Um, he's the fellow that uh, developed the technology, developed this whole process of being able to do alphabets. And another item that he created and was the, the uh, creator of was craft aids. Um, virtually everybody, when they get started, started out with craft aids. Um, they, uh, you know, plastic transfers that give you an outline of the design that you're going to do on the piece of leather uh, so that you have a good crisp pattern to follow when you first start out. But he's the guy that devised the process by which craft aids are made. And in fact, those craft aids are still made in a similar manner today. Um, and again, those, these in, uh, tools like this have done tremendous uh, good in helping people get started in leather work um, with ease, without having to go through all of the, the finer tips. He was also a very good leather worker. Here's, I, I have one piece of leather work that he did. This was actually a carving he did for Craft Aid. It was a limited edition one, but there's a, a, a bit of his leather work. So he was an accomplished leather worker as well. But one of the other things that I have here that I'd like to show you is a very special uh, project that, or piece of his work. Uh, one of the things that he did uh, was he was a uh, yes a leather worker. He made this case. It's in fact he's still got his name on it here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, he actually had a uh, a low tech uh, way of putting his name on there. But he made this case. And what is this case for? Well, let me show you what's in here. Inside of this case is a mallet. Uh, in fact, they called these striking sticks in the day, but it wasn't just any old kind of a striking stick. If you look at it, it's very polished wood. In fact, if you look at the rawhide that's wrapped on this end, it doesn't look like it's been used very much at all. I think this is mostly for show. Um, he also, though, was a... Um, he, he worked as a jeweler somewhat. He did this metal engraving that you see here as well. He's got his name engraved on this end. He's got... Uh, a butt plate on there that's also engraved and also on this other end as well but this is actually a case as well inside of this is his tools and these are not just ordinary tools um, yes they are craft tools yes they are very early version of craft tools um, but they are are very special in that he actually had uh, the opportunity, because he was working with Craftle at the time, he had the opportunity to pick the best ones that came off of the production line. Uh, these tools were were uh, the, made um, soon after they were designed. In fact, Al Stolman was designing a lot of these tools at the time. And the story is that he actually handed these tools to Al Stolman and said, here, would you go ahead and finesse these out, make them just as clean and crisp as the ones that you use. And so these, I believe, were all hand-touched up by Al Stolman himself, and then he had them gold-plated. So an incredible collection of, of tools. This was his, like I said, a show tool. And, and look right here in this little pocket on the front, yep, here's his swivel knife. Just want to show you a, a little more detail of this swivel knife. You can see that he actually redid the yoke on it. It has uh, his initials uh, filigreed into the yoke, uh, which uh, makes it kind of special. And of course, there's not just an ordinary blade in there. He has uh, a Rubiat blade. The Rubiat blades were um, a had a piece of industrial ruby in there for the cutting surface, and they they work pretty well. Um, and I think that you'll find. Um, that they were quite popular when they were first introduced. Um, and, and in fact, they still are today. Um, but uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's a swell knife. Pretty special piece of equipment there. This was some of the um, extravagance, I guess, with which uh, Lou Roth went about doing things. He was, a, uh, he was just really a, a very talented fellow. He was an inventor. He was... Um, uh, very creative, and, and he fell in love with leather work early on, and he left some very important things that we um, that are enjoying this craft today um, are able to um, use to make our leather working even better. So, um, 
mark that name if you could have a chance to learn more about him. His name is Lou Roth, a very important um, predecessor to the leathercraft industry we have today.